everybody. I'm Dove Grand. I'm in Rolling Hills Estates learning all about cowboy boot camp. So if you ever wanted to be a real life cowboy, you've come to the right place. Try not to let them eat. We're having a snack. We're just having a snack. Mm -hmm. Jim Moore, we're learning about Cowboy Boot Camp. Jim, would you like to tell us about how you got this started? We've been doing Cowboy Boot Camp for about six years now. What was the catalyst that started our program was so many people would show up wanting to ride with us and they really didn't have an idea of the basics of horsemanship. And that would include how to saddle a horse, why we feed our horses the way we do, all of the behind the scenes, I like to say it's the daily realities of horse ownership. <laughs> right, and we all know there's a lot of that that people well, don't know. There is a lot of poop that goes on around here. <laughs> so that's how we got started. We had a lot of people interested in learning horsemanship. Mm -hmm. And that's what we want to teach is good, solid horsemanship. And you find here on the Palos Verdes Peninsula, there are a lot of horses. They're all nestled back in this area. We're so fortunate to live where we do, to be so close to Los Angeles. There are about 3,000 horses here on the peninsula and over 100 miles of trails that most people don't see or aren't aware of. And all those 100 miles lead right here to my backyard. To Cowboy Boot Camp. Jim's other half over here. Can you tell us a little bit about your role over here? We run Cowboy Boot Camp here. What we do is really teach horsemanship to people that are wanting to learn more past just sitting in a saddle and being a passenger on a horse. We teach safety, we teach saddling, we teach how to catch a horse. Um, just the daily goings on of horsemanship and horse ownership and there's always something going on. When you go and ride a horse for an hour and leave, there's at least four hours of prep probably that goes into that that people don't really realize. I actually grew up in this house. So as a kid, I had horses here. Well, I had a horse here. I did go to Rolling Hills High School and graduated, went to USC. But I always had horses and showed and gave riding lessons to, uh, to fund my horse habit and uh, my college tuition. And um, so I've always trained or ridden or shown, and I showed pretty heavily in the 70s and 80s. Oh, don't tell boy boyfriend. Hi, mister. Everybody that comes to camp has a real love and passion for horses, including myself. So I thought I'd go take the cowboy crash course. This is a big buddy. Big buddy. What I don't want you to do, you're holding the reins pretty well. Hold him like you're holding an ice cream cone. Okay. He's extremely well trained. Perfect. So he's, you lay the reins across his neck this way, he'll turn oh, this no. direction. Oh, you got it. Lay the reins across his neck, he'll go the other direction. If you pull straight back, what will he do? He'll stop. He'll back up. Back up. That's where a lot reverse of people, button. that's his reverse button. That's where a lot of people make the mistake. They pull back on the reins and he starts to back up. They go, he won't stop, he won't stop. It's because he's doing exactly what you're telling him to do and that's to back up. So when you want to stop your horse, you want to sit back in the saddle, pull back on the reins and say, ho. Ho. Oh. Ho. Oh. Doesn't work. <laughs> okay? Ho. Oh. Oh. Gotta give him a ho. 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 Right. So what I'd uh, like for you to do is just to turn your horse and right over there next to Terry. Keep in mind, no matter what anybody says, all horses bite, all horses kick. This guy is our alpha. He's the boss of the barn and does not mind reminding the other horses that he's boss. It. So then move right over that way. See if you can go right through the middle of those tree limbs. You want a snack, Big Bug? <laughs> Well, there's a gear shift down there. There's a start button. 
<laughs> so. Because he's going to eat your whole tree. Well, you know what? I think that'd be a good idea. But what we want to do is you want to squeeze your legs and he'll go forward. Come on, big boy. Okay. So, when you want your horse to go, mm -hmm. you squeeze your legs. You give your cues from the legs down and also in your hips. Okay, now on three, I'm going to have him rear. Uh, <laughs> if I fall off, I have to get back on. <laughs> So one of the things that a lot of people aren't aware of oh, is that when you lead your horse out, people make the mistake of taking this lead rope and wrapping it around their hand like that. And of course, if my horse takes off, that can drag you along with him. So what we do is we always suggest that you do it in a figure eight. That way, if he takes off, you can still have hold of your rope. So if I'm leading my horse, what I don't want to do is wrap it around like that because otherwise it can be very dangerous for you. One of the things that we do at Cowboy Boot Camp is teach safety. These horses are big and strong and they can certainly hurt you, not intentionally, most of the time. There's all kinds of hays and each particular hay has different qualities. Alfalfa is a, is a type of hay that is high energy. Some people don't feed alfalfa and some people only feed alfalfa. In nature they have a large variety of uh, grasses and weeds in their diet. So we want to take a look at how the horse was designed and feed them accordingly. Not only that, we want to take a look at how they are designed, their personalities, and that's how we want to treat them as they would be treated in nature. Some people say that, you know, if a horse, you shouldn't be riding a horse because how do you know that horse wants you on their backs? Well, this guy's 1,200 pounds. If he didn't want me on his back, I assure you, I would not be on his back. So the horse actually enjoys that human-animal bond and uh, that's very, very important that we cultivate that relationship, that we build that trust with this beautiful animal. Thank you guys for coming. I really appreciate you taking the time to ride with me. And if you ever want to ride again, take a look at us at cowboybootcamp.net and uh, we'll show you some of the amazing trails out here on the peninsula and uh, try to get you out on some pretty good horses and pretty good trails. So if you get a chance, come back and ride with us. That's it for today's show, but we'll see you next time around the peninsula. Ned, I mean to kill you or see you hang at Judge Parker's convenience. Now, which will it be? Ah, you uh, can't snack on that treat. Ah. Do you have something to say, sugar? <laughs> <laughs>